brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Cut didn't make the cut. We're a unique situation. While many businesses are struggling to pay their bills thanks to the closures from the COVID-19 pandemic, co-owners Christopher Rages and Monica Sherry said they're a unique situation. They've continued to try to secure their business license, but have been met with obstacle after obstacle. Yes, we were actually um, told kind of like right down to the wire that um, there was a step that was backwards or flip-flopped and, and you know we went back we rectified whatever it was that you know was required and then um, you know we were told we had to wait for the next board meeting. It was October of last year when Sherry and Regis made the decision to start Cut Beauty Salon. The duo set the grand opening date for March 2020 and prior to the opening day the business owners had to make a minor adjustment to the license and while they were able to get the application submitted in time it's pending approval by the cosmetology board under public health however according to sherry due to the pandemic the next board meeting is indefinite and the licensure office is prioritizing healthcare professional licenses rightfully so i completely support that and understand that however man we need to take care of our families our licensed professionals you know they've been as patient as possible and um, cooperative with the entire timeline of us opening up but you know this is how we provide for our homes this is how we pay our bills and if we're not able to provide them a salon to work for they would have to go elsewhere this means cut could potentially shut down before getting started Sherry and Regis say they have called every number in the book, sent various emails to the Public Health Cosmetology Board, only to receive an automated response. And due to this delay and the COVID-19 lockdown, the co-owners have lost more than $80,000 together in revenue. And they add as a premature small business that did not pay taxes or collect revenue last year, they are unable to apply or collect any federal assistance. We understand the guidelines that the governor has been given out and, and we applaud her and her job and, and everything that she's done. Um, all we're looking forward to is, is opening and, um, and getting on with what we need to do to pay the bills that we owe already. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.